What's going on YouTube? Uh, you guys got a Zippo lighter that is not working properly? I've got one right here that's not working. Uh, this is actually a really old uh, Zippo. It's actually a uh, kind of a commemorative edition. It says originally, it says it, this is an original uh, 1932 replica. That's what this is. Made in the USA. Oh, you can't read that. But anyways, so I bought a... Uh, a carton of uh, cigarettes back in the mid, back in the late 90s, uh, and believe it or not, it actually came with a Zippo. Uh, and I used this Zippo pretty heavily uh, for, I don't know, four or five years. Uh, and then it got put in the drawer because I stopped smoking, and I never used it again. <clears throat> I uh, happened to come across it, stumbled across it uh, a couple weeks ago, and pulled it out, tried to light it, wouldn't light, put some fluid in it. One, two, third time, and it lit up perfectly. And I was like, wow, what a great Zippo. Well, what a great lighter. Uh, these lighters, you know, I always liked it when I had it, uh, and it lit up perfectly. Put it back in the drawer. And about a week later, I uh, had a cigar, wanted to light up a cigar. Popped this open. I was pretty happy. I was going to get to use my, uh, my lighter. And this wouldn't spin at all. It wouldn't spin at all. And I looked up, and it looked like the flint was actually stuck Looked like the flint was snuck, was stuck right here between the like there's a little spring and then the and the wheel looked like it was stuck right there, you know I could see it was like sideways, so in order to fix that you can do it one of two ways, you can go on the Zippo website, you can download their repair form, uh, you can fill it out, <clears throat> you can ship it to Zippo uh, and Zippo will fix it because these uh, all their lighters all their lighters have a uh, a lifetime guarantee and they don't actually fix them well like if like if this spring right here is broken you know that they'll fix that. But if anything internal is broken, pretty much what they'll do is they'll just throw this away and they'll put a new one in it and then they'll, and they'll ship it back to you. Uh, so you can do it that way or you can take it apart yourself and, uh, and try to figure out what the issue is. Zippos operate, they're, they're pretty simple uh, lighters, so they're supposedly windproof. Uh, and uh, there's a little wick uh, that's inside here and that wick goes inside here and there's a whole bunch of like cotton uh, inside here, those are like a whole bunch of little cotton balls that you can pull out, uh, and the wick is inside there. Uh, and when you flip it upside down to fill it with fluid, <clears throat> only use Zippo fluid. Squirt the Zippo fluid in here, uh, and if you see the Zippo fluid come up above the uh, above the cotton balls, uh, then you put too much in there. You just want to make sure that it's completely saturated. Then you want to close that back down, and you want to stick back in here. You know, and then it should be good to go. You might need to, you might need to, you know, do it a couple times, but it should, it should fire right up. Other thing, other little issues that you that you might have with Zippos is if it's been in your pocket and it's been upside down, and you go to light it, you light this, and the whole cap, everything, everything will turn, everything will be on fire. So you got to blow that out. So if you do happen to your Zippo and it's upside down, before you light it, blow it like this, and just try to get out, make sure any fluid that's in the cap uh, comes out. Okay. So back to my issue. So I was not able to spin this. It spins now because I figured out what the issue was. Uh, I hadn't fixed it yet, uh, but I did get it unstuck. I would, it looked like the flint was stuck in there sideways. So in order to fix that, I pulled this out. And there's this little screw right there. And you can use the top here to get it started. And you unscrew this. And, then, and it is spring-loaded. And so when you pull it out, this should come out and then the flint should fall down on the ground. And when I got to this part, the flint did not fall on the ground. The, uh, it was just a bunch of powder. So I guess when I lit it the first couple times, um, the flint was really old uh, and the flint just turned to powder, but it did light for me. And so what had happened, why it was stuck was this is like the little spacer on top of the spring. This actually came all the way, all the way through and was actually kind of bent sideways in there and, and that was stuck. So once I pulled this out, this wheel spun freely. So what I did was I went online and I bought some flint uh, and I also bought a, uh, a wick because I wasn't sure what the what the wick is like. So in order to do the wick, we'll do the wick first. So you can see the wick, how it's kind of black in there. So you want to get a little bit of needle nose pliers because you might actually, I might not have to replace the wick. So you want to pull the wick out until it is Until it's nice and clean all right there we go and you can see that it's nice and i got a clean 
white wick in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip the top of this off. Let me go grab some scissors. And you just want to cut it right flush with the top. And these scissors suck. There we go. Because technically you don't want technically you don't want the wick to be on fire. Uh, the fire should be all around the wick. The wick has the zip of fluid on it. So the zip of fluid uh, is the the bottom of the wick is inside here and it's drenched in fluid and it just kind of works its way up here. So all right, so now I've got a good wick here. I don't need to replace the wick, but I do have extras. So what I need to do now is I need to put the flint in. Got this from Zippo. It actually came with a bunch of flint, so looks like I just need to rotate it this way. Go like that, and then pull it this way, and it's going to give me one flint. So I'm going to stick this down inside the hole here. And I can, and you can actually see it. It is now touching the, uh, the wheel here. And then I'm going to put my, this is a little spacer, and then the spring. I'm going to push that in there. Give it a couple turns. And once you get it in there finger tight, go ahead and put your lid to here and then just give it a little turn and make sure that's nice and tight. So now we have spark uh, and we have our clean wick. You can see the nice white uh, clean wick. So now let's put this like this upside down and let's fill it up with fluid. Again, I'm going to squirt this in here. Maybe for like a seven count one, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1000. All right. Just trying to get that cotton all nice and uh, saturated. Now we can flip this around. And that's a. Uh, Move this igniter fluid out of the way. Let's see if it'll light. First try. There we go. First try. Easy as that. Now I've got a working uh, close to 30 year old, I don't know, 25 year old lighter. Can't wait to smoke my Nest cigar. If you guys have any questions at all uh, about maintenance on a, uh, on a Zippo lighter, uh, or if you just wanted to say what's up, uh, please leave it in the comment section below if this is your first time uh, to my channel. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Have yourself a great day.